Welcome to Kenji's Kitchen. Today we are going to make koya dofu no yimono, which is a simmered koya dofu. And what is a koya dofu? This is a koya dofu, and as you can see, it is uh, hard and uh, dried. It's a freeze dried tofu, and uh, it is a really great item to keep in your pantry because I can make koya dofu. Uh, dishes anytime I like. And uh, koya dofu was invented in Japan in the Edo period and uh, the origin was created in on Mount Koya, which is uh, one of the center of the Buddhism uh, part in Japan. And uh, today I am going to make a vegetarian vegan version of uh, ma, uh, koya dofu no nimono and I hope you are going to enjoy it. At the first, uh, let's rehydrate uh, koya dofu. And here is a water, and I am going to put these koya dofu in the water. These are five pieces. And uh, it depends on the, the koya dofu itself. So you want to follow the package's uh, instruction how to rehydrate. But the, nowadays, you, all you need to do is just put it in the cold water, it's fine. But the, some of the koya dofu, or all the traditional way is to put it in the hot water and rehydrate. But I'm just using a regular cold water. And it takes about two to three minutes until it gets fully rehydrated. After several minutes, uh, this koya dofu has been fully uh, rehydrated and you want to squeeze out the water so that we are going to put the really nice flavor to the koya dofu. Again, because it is like almost a sponge, the water comes out. Next, I am cutting six pieces. So this is uh, rehydrated shiitake mushrooms. I'm using the, uh, the smaller version today, so I have a many over here, but if you're using the bigger one, maybe five is going to be enough. But uh, put it in the three cups of water, cold water, overnight in the fridge. That's create a great uh, mushroom, uh, shiitake mushroom broth as well, which we are going to use for our uh, simmering. For shiitake, you want to remove the stem part. And if you are going to use a stem part for cooking purpose, because it has a good flavor too, you want to remove the, uh, the hardest part, which is the bottom part, we call ishizuki part, to take off. I'm using a carrot. Uh, this is about one third of the carrot, the large one. And you can cut any way you like. This one, I'm going to make the flower shape. That's why I'm not uh, peeled. But if you're going to just uh, cut, you want to peel the uh, carrot too. And for making the, uh, the flower carrot, I'm going to cut about quarter of inch thickness. And I'm going to make the flowers. To make a flowers, uh, ume, which is a plant flower, has a five petals. So I'm going to make the other, uh, uh, this five. Then the first step is to peel. So you want to start almost like at the half of the, this section. Then next step is to make slit, same as this cut section. Then we are going to cut 
from the this side to it's called nejiri ume and most often used for making a good presentation and also pretty colors too and next you take the uh, the other half of the section and make it round petal and here is ume nejiri ume And next, I'm going to devein the. Uh, this is a snow piece. So what you are going to do is take the other one of these vein out, and the the other side too. Just take like this. Another one. Next, it's going to be a dashi and uh, also other ingredients. First, this is a three cups of shiitake dashi, which I used for rehydrating shiitake mushrooms. And just to make sure about the bottom part, sometimes it has the, uh, the stuff and you don't want to put everything in. So this is a three cups of shiitake dashi. And this is a two tablespoons of soy sauce. Actually, this is light soy sauce color wise and this is two tablespoon of mirin and this is two tablespoon of sugar then this is quarter uh, teaspoon of salt and turn heat up and we want to add shiitake mushrooms as well too then wait until it start boiling and i'm using a medium heat right now next i'm going to add uh, koya tofu it's better to not to be layered so you want to as much as possible one layers is better So after I added a koya tofu and a carrot in the pot, I am going to use otoshi buta, which is this. And actually, you can use wet paper towel instead of this otoshi buta too. But uh, we are going to simmer about 15 to 20 minutes. And so I cooked about 15 minutes and I am going to add all the prepared snow peas. And the snow pea does not take that long, just like a two minutes or so. And I'm just putting the, uh, again, otoshibuta, and cook about two minutes, and it will be done. Here is the other uh, finished koya dofu nimono. And uh, the having the carrot, uh, the flower carrot like this presentation, as well as the green color uh, makes like really pops the color of the, this nimono itself and uh, uh, it smells really wonderful too and uh, let's try it itadakimasu mm. Koya tofu is a basically sponge, so it takes all the great flavor of the simmering sauce, which was made of shiitake mushrooms, really great deep umami, and uh, the sweetness gives like really makes this dish to be really homey kind of taste as well. So I hope you are going to uh, make this dish at your home and enjoy. Uh, Koya dofu no limono at home. So, happy cooking!